Okay, how you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you parallel processing in Reaper. Now, the idea of parallel processing is to have a very wet or affected sound on one channel and the direct sound or the unaffected sound on another channel, and we can mix them together using two separate faders. Now, this can be used in many ways for compressing a drum loop, parallel compressing a vocal with the idea that you can really make the effect really strong or compressed, but still retain the transients by bringing the dry sound back in. So let's start off simple with a drum loop. We have one here. Let's hear what it sounds like. Now let's try compressing it. Go to our effects. And let's choose the Reaper compressor. Now, right now, it's fully wet. Let's really try to compress this sound. We'll turn on the auto makeup gain, adjust the ratio to about four to one, and bring down the threshold. We could also adjust the release to really make it pump. Before and after. It's pretty compressed and you can hear the pumping and breathing. Now, if this sound is too much for us, we could change the effect to be parallel. Now, of course, you could do it simply in Reaper by adjusting the dry sound right here. But the problem with that is that you don't have two separate faders over here or in the mixer to adjust. So it's a little harder to see what's going on and you have to keep opening this plugin to readjust it. So doing it in parallel is a little bit easier. So let's create another track right here. We'll name it Compression. And let's move this effect over to here instead and turn it off over here. Hold on Option on the Mac or Alt on the PC and just click it. So now the effect is just on this track. It's dry over here. So now what we want to do is bus this track to this track. Go to the routing over here and drag and drop it. And set this to pre-fader post effects. This way this fader right here, let's make this bigger. This way the fader on the loop track isn't affecting this one. So they're completely separate. Let's turn this down. Now the compression should be over here. And the dry sound is over here. So now we can simply mix them to create our perfect sound. We'll start out with just the compression and mixing the dry sound to bring back some of those transients. Notice how you get the best of both worlds before It's not very exciting and it sounds a bit weak, but if we mix back in the compression, it sounds like this. It's basically the best of both worlds. And as I said, we could do this for vocals, bass guitar, even acoustic guitar. But one of the more popular uses for this is for live drums. Now, when dealing with multi mic drums, we're gonna set up a bit differently, so let me show you how. We have a different project here with some live multi-mic drums. Kick track, 
a few snare tracks, a few tom tracks, overheads, and a room. Let's hear what it sounds like right now. Now to make that sound more exciting, let's add some parallel processing to the entire drums. And the way to do that is to create a drum bus. So let's make a new track, name it Drum Bus, and let's bus all the drums to this track. And the easiest way to do that is in the routing matrix. Go right here, take all the drums out of the master parent send, They're still playing, but we don't hear them because they're not going out the master parent send anymore. And instead, let's send them to the drum bus right here. So now, all these drums are coming out over here. Let's go to our mixer. And here's our drum bus now. If we turn it down, there's no drums. So the entire kit is coming out this fader. But each one of these sends is post fader. Right here, post fader, full volume. We want it to be set that way. This way these faders still matter, but the sum of all these faders winds up here, and from here, we can create a parallel bus. So let's do that. Let's hide the mixer and make another track. We'll name this Compress. And now we'll create a send from the drum bus to a compress bus by dragging this from here to here. And once again, we'll switch this to be pre fader. This way, it doesn't matter where the drum bus fader is, it's still going to get the same level on the compress bus. So if this fader is down, we still hear the drums coming out of the compressed bus. So now let's put a compressor on the compressed bus. We'll choose the Reaper compressor again at about four to one, auto makeup gain, bring down the release and adjust the threshold. That feels pretty good there. And once again, we could use the dry sound to get our blend, but then we can't use the faders in our mixer. So now let's bring back some of that dry sound right here. Let's compress it a bit more. Just to really make it squash. Notice how the compress bus really brings up the room sound. Now to make it even more interesting, let's make another one. Make another track here, and we'll name it EQ and Compress. Once again, we'll send it from our drum bus to here, and make a pre-fader. So we can pull these two down, and we still have our drum sound. Now let's EQ and compress it. We'll use the Reaper EQ with a high pass filter and filter out all the lows. Now we'll add a compressor. 
right after it. Auto makeup gain, quick release, about four to one. Now let's add some more EQ after the compressor, and this time we'll boost the top end using a high shelf. By filtering out the low end, compressing it a lot, and bringing up the top end, we're going to bring out the prettiness or the brightness in the drum set. And because we did it in parallel, this effect has its own fader right here. So we can go back to our direct sound here, mix in the compression here. and make the whole kit sound brighter with this fader. Before, and after. That sounds a lot better. So anyway, that's parallel processing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.